Hi everyone, it's Kematic Matt, and today we are going to talk about coagulation pathway. As always, you can find pinned minutes under the video with main specific title that you are more interested in. Coagulation is the process by which a blood clot forms to reduce blood loss after damage to a blood vessel. Several components of the coagulation cascade, including both cellular and protein components, are involved in blood vessel repair. The role of the cellular and protein components can be categorized as primary hemostasis, formation of the platelet plug, which forms the primary clot, and secondary hemostasis, the coagulation cascade, which produces a fibrin mesh to strengthen the platelet plug. Secondary hemostasis occurs simultaneously with primary hemostasis, but generally finishes after it. The coagulation cascade is classically divided into three pathways. The contact, also known as the intrinsic pathway, the tissue factor, also known as the extrinsic pathway, and the common pathway. Both the contact pathway and the tissue factor pathway feed into and activate the common pathway. The coagulation factors circulate as inactive enzyme precursors, which, upon activation, take part in the series of reactions that make up the coagulation cascade. The coagulation factors are generally serine proteases. Coagulation cascade. Intrinsic pathway. The intrinsic pathway, or contact activation pathway, occurs during exposure to negatively charged molecules, such as molecules on bacteria and various types of lipids. It begins with formation of the primary complex on the collagen by high molecular weight kininogen, clicrine, and factor 12, or Hageman factor. This initiates a cascade in which factor 12 is activated, which then activates factor 11, which activates factor 9, which along with factor 8 and calcium activates factor 10 in the common pathway. Extrinsic pathway. The extrinsic pathway occurs during tissue damage when damaged cells release tissue factor 3. Tissue factor 3 acts on factor 7 in circulation and fits into the final step of the common pathway, in which factor 10 causes thrombin to be created from prothrombin. This pathway also requires calcium. Common pathway. In the final common pathway, prothrombin is converted to a thrombin. When factor 10 is activated by either the intrinsic or extrinsic pathways, it activates prothrombin, also called factor 2, and converts it into a thrombin using factor 5 and calcium. Thrombin that cleaves fibrinogen into fibrin, which forms the mesh that binds to and strengthens the platelet plug, finishing coagulation and thus hemostasis. Factor 13 or fibrin stabilizing factor is a zymogen that crosslinks fibrin. Factor 13 is activated by thrombin. Fibrinolytic system. Tissue plasminogen activator or TPA and urokinase are the agents that convert plasminogen to the active plasmin, thus allowing fibrinolysis to occur. TPA is released into the blood very slowly by the damaged endothelium of the blood vessels, such that after several days when the bleeding has stopped, the clot is broken down. This occurs because plasminogen became entrapped within the clot when it formed. As it is slowly activated, it breaks down the fibrin mesh. 